Salam and hello everybody. I hope you're all doing really well. Alhamdulillah, I'm very well, thank you. So in this video, we've got another weekly meal prep for my family of eight. And I make four curries in under an hour. You're impressed, I know. So let's go ahead and show you what I did. So if you watch my videos, you'll have seen me make two curries at a time regularly. And I thought, go on, push the boat here, love. You can make four curries. The only thing stopping me was that the cooker, one of the burners, the hobs is quite slow. But we made it work, guys. So right now I'm just cutting a load of onions. For each curry, I'll use two onions. So all together I've got eight onions. The food chopper is a lifesaver, a time saver. So I'm just chopping up all my onions in the food chopper. And uh, the first thing I do is uh, saute the onion. So I'm putting a load of oil in a pan on the highest burner. All of the eight chopped onions are going in there and being cooked until they're nice and soft and a little bit brown. So I've got a few chilies, lots of garlic cloves, some ginger. Once that's all peeled, I chop that as well in the little chopper. And then add that to the pan of cooked onions. And then just cook that for a few minutes. So I made four curries. One of those curries was chicken, breast and pepper curry. Another one, a mincemeat curry. The other one was a lamb curry and then I made a veg curry, so aubergine and potato curry. So I'm just preparing all of the ingredients, cutting up any of the chicken breast, chopping up the aubergines. Cutting the potatoes. cutting the peppers and making sure that's all ready to put in the pans when the time's right. So most of the time is taken by this preparation, sorting out all the veg and cutting up and preparing the meat. For each curry, I like to use four tomatoes. So that's 16 tomatoes in total. So there's everything that was gonna go into the curries and I put it into separate plates and bowls. And then I've got four plates of the spices. I just use the same spices for each curry. Half a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon each of turmeric powder, coriander powder, garam masala, and cumin powder, and then about a quarter teaspoon of chili powder. We don't like our um, curries too, too hot because of the kids. So first of all, I'm cooking the chicken breast and the minced meat. So I'm browning the mince, cooking the chicken breast until it's white before I actually add any onions in. And then I'm basically splitting the onion mixture between the four pans. And then adding in the tomatoes, cooking that off for a bit. In one pan, I added the lamb and the spices and salt. Spices and salt in the chicken. And then the mixed peppers. And then the spices and salt in the mincemeat. The same with the aubergines. Once I'd cooked each of the curries a little, I did some water into each one. Mm -hmm. 
and then once they all came to the boil put a lid on them all and um, left them cooking for about half an hour each and then they were nice and ready the lamb one i think i left it for a little bit longer but yeah that's your four curries done that's four days of meals in this house anyway obviously with your sides you have rice or chapati or whatever but the actual meal itself was done and that's just amazing and then a few other things i prepared so one day i was going to make a chicken stir fry i coated some chicken breast so i chopped the chicken breast coated it in um what have i got in there some egg salt sesame oil garlic paste some corn flour a bit of plain flour can't tell what else but maybe some paprika i'm guessing or some coarse black pepper a little bit of lemon juice and uh, yeah i coated that and then popped it in in the fridge to have another day and then you know like you can buy bags of um, stir fry mix or stir fry veg uh, from the supermarket so i like to mix my own because the kids don't really like the veg some of the veg that comes in those bags and it's just wonderful to make your own and uh, you know exactly what's in there and the you know the veg is a lot fresher so i've got some mixed uh, peppers some onion red onion spring onion mushrooms sweet corn what else did i put in there i think that was it really but um yeah a bit of garlic as well and then i just put it into a container and uh, put that in the fridge along with the chicken which was in the other container and um, yeah just put it all together with some noodles and bob's your uncle so yeah that's all the wonderful um, veg in that pot your own homemade stir fry veg mix I also coated some chicken drumsticks for the kids to have as a snack throughout the week. So as I usually do, I've got some um, homemade marinade, some yogurt, can't remember what else I put in, paprika, tandoori masala, um, lemon juice, some oil, some salt and uh, just coated that. Pop that on an oven rack covered in some foil and uh, bake that for about half an hour and that was done and then I made some battered fish to have as like fish and chips one day so I had some frozen fish some frozen cod fillets and frozen haddock fillets and I just made some coating and I basically left the fish coated in that overnight you can leave it for a bit but we didn't need to eat it till the following day so i just coated it left it in the fridge and uh, what did i put as coating for this gosh i put some salt coarse black pepper lemon uh, some plain flour can't remember the rest maybe some paprika and then yeah covered it and put it in the fridge and then i had a pack of minced meat and i thought i'd um, cook that in a few spices and then put it in a container in the fridge and have it with some toast and as a, like a lunch throughout the week maybe with some jacket potato so i browned the mains i did some garam masala paprika some cumin powder a bit of salt garlic paste uh, a bit of um, chili powder cooked that till it was a lovely golden brown color and put it in a container and that was it i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it useful give it a thumbs up if you did jazakallah for watching and inshallah see you soon take care salam bye